Visit sayarite.com for all your project supplies, tools, and instructions. Hi, I'm Eric Grant from Sayarite. In this short tutorial video, we're going to use the handy press and we're going to stamp some leather with uh, one of the Sayarite uh, alphabet and numbers stamp sets. If you intend to stamp your leather with letters or numbers or even logos, you'll need to purchase the handy press stamp adapters. So let's get started and show you how the handy press works for this. It works great. You'll see. Before we get started, you need to know that the handy press may just be the best hand press ever made. Besides the fact that it takes almost any brand die set made for any brand hand press, it has some major advantages that other hand presses don't even come close to matching. I highly recommend you watch the demo video showing the amazing features of the handy press. To see it, click the link in the description or in the upper right hand corner of this video. And now it's time to display using the stamp sets, whether it be numbers, letters, or logos. To use a stamping feature, you'll need to purchase the handy press stamp adapters. We'll insert the appropriate adapter. It does have a ball detent, but I like to use a thumb screw and lock it into that shaft so it's very secure. First off, we're going to stamp some leather with the Sayrite alphabet and number stamp set. Select the letter or number from the kit and then insert it on the bottom of that adapter. The post on the adapter has a ball detent. You'll need to rotate the stamp so the triangle, in some cases it's a letter, is at the front so the stamp is installed appropriately. Make sure you use some scrap of the exact same thickness of leather that you'll be using for your final application. It's a good idea to wet the leather down with a damp rag or a mister so that you get a good stamp impression. Place the leather on the sliding workbench and depress the lever of the handy press down. Obviously, dies come in different sizes and shapes. You'll need to adjust the upper shaft so that you get the appropriate amount of compression. I like to call it the sweet spot. The shaft can be turned to raise or lower it. Your objective is to depress the lever of the handy press until the stamp comes down and makes an imprint in the leather that's appropriate. Once that is achieved, you have the sweet spot. And when you depress the lever downwards, you'll find that the lever is horizontal or slightly downward. That's the sweet spot. Inspect your leather sample. And if you need more compression or less, you can adjust the upper shaft by rotating it to the left or the right. Rotating the shaft to the left will cause more compression. So we can compare whether we like the first stamp or the second stamp and make adjustments until we're pleased. Now that we're happy with the compression, we'll use the sliding workbench that comes with the handy press and we'll position the workbench with the back fence so that our stamp goes exactly where we want it fore and aft in our leather assembly. Once we're happy with the position, we'll lock that workbench in place. Now we have a back fence that makes stamping leather easy. Now it's time to stamp our leather. We'll position the leather on the back fence of the sliding workbench. It's been set already, so we get the optimal position fore and aft. Depress the lever of the handy press. We no longer have to worry about compression because it's set appropriately. Now we can pull that stamp right off of the shaft. It has a ball detent to make it easy and install the next stamp. Be sure the stamp is uh, facing the right direction. In this situation, we have a triangle. It needs to be facing forward and make sure that it's straight. What I like to do is depress the lever of the handy press so the stamp does not go all the way down but just rests above the leather. Then you can position the leather left or right against the back fence and then pull the lever all the way down. Now your second letter, number, or logo is installed perfectly next to the opposite one. Because the handy press has a sliding workbench with a fence, it's simple to keep everything aligned appropriately. This is our last letter for the initials of my name, and it's installed so it's nice and straight, and the triangle's in the front, and I'll pull the lever down so that the stamp stops above the leather, and I can use both hands to position the leather against the backstop, and in the right position, left or right, 
Then pull the lever all the way down until it stops. Now every impression has the same compression for a perfect looking leather impression. When using a handheld tool for stamping with a hammer or a mallet, sometimes the imprints are not where they're desired to be and sometimes they are too lightly imprinted or too heavily imprinted in the leather. That's not the case with the handy press. The handy press stamp adapters that are sold separately have three different adapters. This adapter is for logos or other imprints and we'll insert that in the handy press and lock down the thumb screw even though it does have a ball detent on the uh, post. Position it so that it comes in the optimal position to make an imprint in the leather like we discussed earlier and in this scrap we're going to test the compression. So this is a scrap piece of leather that we are testing the impression. If we want more compression, simply rotate that shaft either to the left or to the right for more or less compression. We went a little bit more, so we went to the left. Once you're happy with the compression, insert your leather piece and simply pull the lever down to make an imprint in your leather. The back work fence makes it easy to keep everything aligned neatly. All you need to do is move your leather to the next stamping position and pull the lever down. Compression is consistent every time. If you love working with leather, you're going to love the handy press. Obviously there are multiple dies that will work great in the handy press for leather, upholstery, canvas, and more. The handy press will also work with multiple other brands and types of dies. We hope this video has been helpful. Check out our website to find out what other types and brands of dies will work with the handy press.